I've had some rather, let's say, um, <laughs> I don't want to say controversial. That's not really the proper term, but that's what we're going to run with. Controversial, maybe unpopular opinions when it comes to some of the the DC films, right? I didn't have as much of a problem with some of these these films that have recently come at be it Justice League, Batman and Superman. Or Batman vs Superman, like as that a lot of people had. I had my my gripes, and I thought there was some stupid things that happened. Don't get me wrong. But what I've learned is that DC is faced, in terms of the universe and the expectation coming from a lot of the fanatics, it's a near impossible task to please these people. What I mean by that is that I believe is that they can put out. A near perfect film appeals to normies. It appeals to longtime fans. The character development, just a great all around film. And it would get trashed. And they would say that it's not, a lot of people would say that it's, it's not good. This is why I don't take other people's reviews serious when it comes to this thing, with these uh, sorts of um, matters, comic book films and stuff and such, because I don't never, I never, it's hard to tell. Actually, it's not hard to tell, but a lot of these guys have other motives. And it's sort of weird that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has created this sort of fandom that feels like they have to pit them against DC. I get that they are competing brands for your dollar. I understand that. I'm not oblivious to that. But you can like both of them contrary to your beliefs. I've never felt like I've had to, and this is maybe because I'm just a longtime comic book fan. I've never felt like I had to pit them against each other. I compare and contrast here and there, but I've never felt like I had to pit them to against each other because I don't have any sort of allegiance. If DC puts out a good comic, I will acknowledge it. If Marvel puts out a good comic, I will acknowledge it. If the movies or shows of some of these D DC or Marvel, you know, characters, if they drop, one's bad, one's good, vice versa. That's cool with me. But the MCU has developed this cult-like following that feels like DC can't be successful because it may threaten their beloved Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in some cases it may. But this is why I don't know what team these guys, a lot of these critics, I don't know. Like sometimes I feel like they on Disney's payroll, man, because it's like anything DC comes out with. They're like, it's just crap, 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 crap. Everything's crap. And then I see it and I'm like, I didn't have I have my issues with it. And I'm not saying that it's like the greatest, but it's not nearly as bad as what you're making it. And then they go on the other hand and say something like Captain Marvel was just a great, phenomenal movie. And I'm like, huh? So I encourage you guys to take people's criticism when it comes to these movies with a grain of salt. And it's, it's like Marvel Cinematic Universe stands are so weird that they even crap on things that are Marvel related, but aren't necessarily in the MCU. Right. <laughs> like uh, I didn't have as I thought, man, when I first saw people's comments on Venom. I thought that this was going to be the worst movie of all time. And it wasn't. It really wasn't. It was not. I liked the movie. I don't care what you guys say. I, I, I liked um, it. I had my issues with it. Um, but it wasn't absolutely as terrible as what people make of it. And I've seen that that's, that's sort of my opinion on a lot of comic book stuff. Is that it's not as dramatic. But I look at my, what I picked up in comparing... Uh, 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 what people say, or more so, when I see the same people have this strong opinion against anything that DC drops versus anything that the Marvel Cinematic Universe produces, and this is why you get the people who are just out, just uh, completely outrageous, because somebody dared to not like the version of Spider Man that's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they just freak out. Like they have this uh, weird sort of allegiance, man, to these characters, and me personally, I don't get it. But they can compete. I get it. They can compete with each other 
for your dollar if you feel like you have to choose between one. But you really don't have to choose between DC and Marvel. What if I told you that both of them can be bad and both of them can be good at the same time? What if I also told you that Marvel Cinematic Universe, they haven't set any benchmark in terms of what we should expect out of a comic book film? What if I told you that? This is why I didn't understand the pushback that I got from some people when I said that. What if DC sort of expanded on this idea of making more mature comic book adaptations? In doing so, they could separate themselves from Marvel. And I got these people like, no, 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 they can't do that. I'm like, why? Because Marvel has been making PG-13 movies? Who died made them just the greatest? They've had some good movies. They have, they have, uh, you know, the cinematic universe that's just as popping as it's probably ever going to be. It's amazing. But it has create, created what I believe to be these irrational people. And I just don't, even with comic books, even with the actual comic books, I've never felt like I had to pit them against each other. It's cool to compare and contrast some of the characters, but when I say pit them to, against each other, I'm meaning that you don't have to have allegiance to one or the other unless you're on the payroll. Then again, that's that's a completely different conversation. But I don't have any allegiance to any of these characters. I have zero allegiance to these characters, uh, 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 to the to the companies more so. You go through these short sec, you know, sectors in which maybe one is be putting out better books than the other. But I don't have an allegiance when it comes to film, certainly live action TV shows or, or what have you. And which it's like, all right, well, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, anything that DC comes out with, because I'm just this big hardcore and you can just pick up the rhetoric, dude, pick up the I encourage you to take a look at when you see people criticizing the DC movies. Take a look at the sort of rhetoric that they use. And if they feel like they have to always bring up the Marvel, what Marvel's doing, then that's telling you right there that they're being irrational. Because you don't have to view it as comparing it to Marvel. You don't have to do that. You can look at it on its own and be like, well, this is a this is bad, this is good, this is my problem with it, without having to ever mention what Marvel mention what Marvel's doing. Because that's completely irrelevant to whether it's good or bad. Believe it or not. But the MCU has created these, these stands, man, that are just, I mean, you threaten anything that they do. You say, any, I, mean, any, I mean, you can say you don't like it or you can like something else that's a comic book. More so with DC because they're the bigger, the other powerhouse. You like what they got going? Man, 